Get ready to make a big difference in the quality of recycling in your community. Introducing the Feet on the Street program, designed by the Recycling Partnership. It's the nationally recognized recycling education program, providing customized and real-time feedback on how to recycle more and better in curbside recycling carts. In this video, you will learn how to become a Feet on the Street quality inspector. But first, why do we need to make sure we're recycling the right materials in carts? When people put the wrong stuff in recycling, it's not safe for workers and it can be expensive for communities. Also, when recyclables are made into new packaging or products, it has some pretty impressive climate action benefits, like decreasing the amount of material that gets landfilled or incinerated, conserving natural resources, improving air quality by reducing greenhouse gases, and creating jobs in the United States. To get the most out of recycling, we have to be mindful of what we put in recycling carts. When materials that aren't accepted in your local program are placed in curbside recycling, that's contamination. Contaminants can vary from community to community. They can include anything from food waste to plastic bags. We'll learn more about common contaminants later in this video. When contamination rates are reduced, Communities win by increasing the quality and value of the collected recyclables, such as savings from improving processing times and worker safety, as well as decreasing fees. In Michigan, through the Feet on the Street program, communities saw contamination rates drop by 35% on average. This program works. So how can we reduce recycling contamination rates and improve the quality of our recyclables? We do it by putting feet on the street. Developed by the Recycling Partnership, the Feet on the Street program is a recycling education program focused on improving community recycling systems. Feet on the Street is a powerful combination of education, curbside inspections, and feedback. The results? positive changes and behaviors that improve recycling quality and benefit the entire community. Two to three weeks before curbside inspection begins, households will receive a recycling postcard in the mail. This is an illustrated guide of which items can be placed in recycling and which items cannot. Contaminants may include bags and trash, anything in a plastic bag or just plastic wrap in empty plastic bags, hoses, cords, and wires, including long string items like extension cords, hoses, chains, or ropes. Household items, including furniture, appliances, pots, pans, or hangers. Yard waste, including leaves, long clippings, and branches. Food or liquid, specifically large amounts of food or liquid. Small amounts like leftover yogurt in a yogurt cup can be ignored. All types of batteries and electronics, including laptops, cell phones, and car batteries. Shredded paper and scrap metal and wood, including lumber, broom handles, propane tanks, large pieces of metal, and construction waste. The list of contaminants for each community will be customized based on what's accepted locally. As a feed on the street quality inspector, you will inspect curbside carts and bins and tag those containing contaminants with an OOPS tag, which provides feedback and education. The tags also ask households to remove the contaminants before the next day pickup. The OOPS tags will highlight the top four to six contaminants most commonly seen in your community. Quality inspections are completed in five easy steps. Step one. If there is no recycling cart or bin set out for service, move on to the next house. If you see a big recycling container, take a look inside. Do not dig around the container. Simply assess what is visible on top. Step two, mark any contaminants on the correct tag. Only tag for those listed. If you are using an app, input the data as instructed. Step three, if it is a cart, close the lid and place the tag on the cart handle. For bins or other containers, you may need to place the marked tag securely on top of the container. If warning tags are being used, the first time you find contamination, attach a warning tag. The second time, attach the rejection tag and the cart will not be collected that day. Step four, if the container is being rejected, turn it so the tag faces the street. This alerts the driver not to collect it. 
Step 5. Move on to the next house. A feat on the street quality inspection is as simple as inspect, record, tag, turn, next. When conducting inspections, inspectors will need the following items. Warning and oops tags, a pen or marker, a phone and charger, all safety materials, including high visibility vest, gloves, sunscreen, insect repellent, water, a tool belt or apron, and the customer service FAQs, info cards. If someone approaches you while performing an inspection, introduce yourself as a member of the Feet on the Street team. State the name of your employer and the community you are serving. You should always have identification that indicates you are working on behalf of the community while inspecting recycling carts. If challenged by someone, do not tag the cart. Simply walk away and report the incident to your supervisor. Thank you for being a Feet on the Street quality inspector. Together, we can reduce contamination and improve recycling quality to benefit communities everywhere. We will see you on the street.